Lovely birds and night owls, Nox here with more RimWorld. Mistakes were made. We have a full moon approaching, which means it can come up at any time now. And we do have one werewolf that has not completed in, uh, that has an active transformation. So that part kind of sucks, because this person can turn at any time. I'm trying to move Anuzis out and me and ICMB in just in case it happens now, because we can try to move Baird, but this is quite far, and since it's already 1 in the morning, I figure that this transformation can really happen at any time. Okay. So, yeah, mistakes were really made. Oh, no. Poor Anuzis. The worst part is that we don't even have a wooden door there, so it's not like you can open it super, super fast. You're gonna get stuck there probably because of the wooden door. Now, I can put Jimbo in there and be like, uh, you know, I don't really... Actually, Jimbo's pretty good at a lot of stuff. Never mind, not gonna sacrifice. What are you good at? You're my grower, huh? <sighs> don't like that. Don't like it at all. Can we... Wow, we're very slow, so we're not gonna get up here for a while. Anuzis, hang in there, buddy. How are you attacking from that far away? Just eat the meal. Eat the meal, okay? Anuzis, run! Okay, whew. He got out. Let's uh, move him, like, maybe up in there before he keeps keeps getting busted up. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab... Hmm. I see him be. Actually, I'm gonna move you to the back. I'm gonna take most of the hits after I'm getting... Ta after I'm tanking, I should say. Uh, you know what? Maybe Anuzis can stand here and fire. That might work. Jimbo's like, whatever, I don't even care. <laughs> and maybe we can have some other people helping here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna stand in the door here, and I'm gonna just attack as much as I can. Can I feed? Hold on a second, what? I can feed? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's probably the safer bet right now. They're like, ah, can't believe we're doing this! Like, yeah, you know what? Oh man, Anuzis, you're bad with that. But that was the reason why we gave you that. Jimbo, can you get out of the way, please? This is not going well. <laughs> this is not gonna go well for you at all. Alright, so I am still feeding. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's attacking me now, so let me go ahead and feed again. Just gotta make sure that I don't kill this guy. Girl? Girl, excuse me. Alright, so that's hopefully gonna be okay. Uh, raid. What? Not now! I have dropped an... <laughs> Ouch! Right on top of, uh, Matt and Franklin and all that, seems? Yeah, that's awesome, you guys. This is going great, you know? It's all I ever wanted. Jimbo, you're useless, buddy. You are useless. I need you to go here. I think I have it and ICMB have it, and let's see. What can we do about... Gabella, you don't have a weapon. Can you grab this thing here? We're gonna need you to do that. Bowman, oh, thank goodness. Joel is useless. Stecker is down. You are injured. Hmm, Madden, I'm gonna need you to get up, and Matt, you get up. Franklin, do you have a weapon still? You do, but I don't want you using that here at all. That would be bad. Alright, so let's see what we can do about this problem here. You're still attacking me, so let me go ahead and feed on you again. Drink all that up. Nice, uh, nice- oh jeez! Uh, Jimbo, how about you go hide? You guys, let's try to fire upon there, and let's try to fire upon there. How are we going up in here? Ha! <laughs> Matt has a, like, a really awesome gun, though, so I'm pretty sure he could do some damage. Madden, you shoot over here. Um, wow, there was a... there was somebody in here, actually. Bowman, nice, nice you do that. Barrow, I guess you can maybe... Oh, out, and then... What? I don't have you drafted. Attack that person, or take it, you could stay in bed, and as for this situation here, I... I don't know. Gotta love it when the game decides to just to mess you over. Alright, let's wolf out here, because that's really the only thing we could do right now. Uh, did I not just tell you to fire somebody else? Oh my gosh. Jimbo, run. <laughs> Jimbo, run. Seriously. Alright, so how much closer are we to getting you down? Oh man, that's gonna be a while. Did you grab your sword? You did. Alright, this is beautiful. Go and attack. Oh jeez, that sounded bad. That sounded really, really bad. Uh, I think it's okay. I think- okay, jumper's down. Good. So we can now go ahead and help out. Let's put you over here. I need you up in here. Let's see if we can take care of that. Severe illness, colonists needs res rescue, that's Baird, that's fair, because I did drink you basically to almost to death, so I mean, that's, that's my bad. <laughs> my bad, but I will take it. Alright, so now I'm getting into the f whole firing thing. Let's go ahead and attack you right there, nice. Uh-oh, somebody used a uh, runaway. Uh, poor Baird might die though. I, I don't know, I don't know about that, nor do I care. Alright, Kiri, oh, who's Kiri? 
Who's Kiri? Is somebody over here? Oh, thank goodness, there's somebody over here. Because I was like, I don't see a Kiri over here. No, we're good. Maybe we're good. All right, so we are doing some... Is Ray Wolfen down? I think Ray Wolfen is down. Beautiful. Okay, that's what you want to see there. Let's go ahead and have you slashing this person. Maybe you can fire at Conley, because Conley's being a little bit of a derp derp there. Not a nice person. Somebody needs to fire at Kelsey, because Kelsey is doing a lot of damage right now, and that is not okay. And as for me, I guess I can go ahead and start biting people, because <laughs> that's what I do best. ICMB, what are you doing? Watching for targets? No, go get Kelsey. Kelsey is, um, it's awful right now. And let's try to shoot Grump here. Okay, Kelsey is definitely... Who died? Did somebody die? Lunster? <laughs> ah, run me, run. Anuzis, are you in the are you in the way? You might have to move over here. Oh no, you're fine. All right, beautiful. And Dizzy is Dizzy someone over here as well? I think so. Okay, that might be fine. That might be fair. Just as long as none of us are dead, we might be okay. Uh, I think we killed somebody else. Nice. All right, so we murderized quite a few people here. Let's make sure that we take care of our own. Let's just uh, free everybody up here. There are a lot of injuries. We have a lot to do now, but hey, you know what? Such is the way of Randy. Apparently, he hates my guts, clearly. We're under werewolf attack, and suddenly he's like, yeah, you know what? Here, have a raid. Ugh. All right, let's rescue you, even though it sounds dangerous. Let me go ahead and... I think I unforbade everything, right? All right, so we have quite a few bodies here from which to choose. Hmm. Beatrice, what are you like? Are you... Oh, jeez. You're an animal lover. You're a werewolf. You can medicine. I think we might need more medical people, but... Oh, you know what? I can, I can shove you in there. We have... Whoa, whoa, whoa. One day until the next full moon. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to have to make this a prison for sure, just because... So for now, let's say... Furniture, furniture, furniture. We're going to go ahead and put a sleeping spot right up in there. And we're going to turn that one into a prison. And we're going to grab, let's see, Lux seems to be in a good... <laughs> she didn't get hit at all. She's like, whatever, I feel fine. As for me, let me go ahead and do some vampiric healing. Beautiful. And I'm going to grab Beatrice and capture. Because overall, she seems fine. Now, who else do we have here? We have Jumper. Jumper, skilled medic, hard worker. You can't dumb labor. You can animal medicine, and that's about... It in terms of what I need you to do. So, oh, you can even firefight. Hmm, I do like the hard worker because he does work faster. I mean, we can have him as an artist, but I feel like we've already done a lot of artists. And let's see, you don't have a toe, but that's all right. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and capture jumper, I suppose, and caffeine dependence. Oh, that's not great. Low pain tolerance, super immune, and pluviophile. You're pretty good at cooking and growing. You know what? I like you. I like you, Ray Wolfen. So let's go ahead and grab you. And Rodrigo, he's a psychopath, he's steadfast, a heat lover, he can't do anything at all except for art. Do we need that many artists? Uh, not really, if you don't see the other. They both can't dumb labor. You're a lot better at shooting and stuff. Wait a second, we could probably sell them to these guys. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. All right, Gabella, I know you're kind of messed up, but go ahead and grab this person and let's see, do we have anybody else? Am I about to eat somebody? Ca oh, I'm capturing. <laughs> all right, so uh, that's... Do we lose anybody at all? I don't think we did. That's okay with me. Barrow's like just sitting there like, hey, so, uh, this meal tastes delicious. <laughs> all right, whatever. I can, I can take it. Where am I going with you? Oh, I forgot about that. I mean, that will work. That's... That, that does actually super work because I'll be there guarding Beatrice to make sure that I can take her down when she turns. So I am totally chill with that. All right, so severe illness on Rodrigo. We need a doctor in here stat. So it's going to be ICMB or Matt. So let's get, uh, who's the closest one? Wait, don't we have more doctors than that? We have Matt, we have ICMB, we have Barrow and Jimbo. Jimbo, make yourself useful. You got shot a little bit, but it's not that bad. Go and tend to down prisoner. I mean, what? Just tend to Rodrigo. And let's see, any more severe illnesses going around here? Because if we have them, we gotta take care of them. Um, well, I mean, obviously these guys are injured, but they're not that badly injured. Except, you know, toe loss, but whatever. Alright, so who among us is a bleeding hardcore? Because we need to take care of them as soon as possible. Gabella's pretty bad. Anuzis, you lost your hand. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm gonna say that, yeah, maybe you, uh... 
You could use a little bit of treatment. All right, we're gonna wake up all of our doctors and make sure that they can take care of this stuff because this is not great. ICMB, I know you're still a werewolf, but uh, I need you taking care of this. Let's tend right there. And Matt, where's Matt? Matty boy, how are you doing? You're fine. Oh my gosh, this guy's such a complainer, I swear. And Anuzis is eating? Laying down here? What the heck? Are you dead? You're sleeping there. Hmm. That's not really a place I can treat you. All right, we're gonna have to add some more medical beds. That's fine with me. Whatever. Let's go and do that. Let's just uh, shoot, 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 shoot for medical. And just uh, call these all like that. Great. All right, so Matt, I need you to take Anuzi. Wait, can I, can I force him to just go there? I think I can. Beautiful. All right, and what is this? Hmm, paradigm. Euphoria-inducing painkillers. Side effects. Blurred vision, dizziness, dry mouth, impaired speech. That doesn't sound bad, especially if you don't get addicted to them. That could work. That could very well work. And now Anuzis is down. All right, so that's kind of what I was expecting. I mean, he did get attacked by a werewolf, so... Not surprising. Not surprising at all. All right, Beatrice is in there, kind of bleeding to death. Hopefully that doesn't actually happen. We do need a doctor over here, though. So let's see. Jimbo, are you done? You're done. Great. Go and tend to Beatrice and be careful, because uh, Full Moon is coming up pretty soon. Stecker has stopped self-harming. Who? <laughs> and now he's down. Ah, oh, Stecker. Let's see. We have to make sure that we haul these things off. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Can you rescue Stecker? I know Lux is going to do it, but whatever. And let's see. Who else needs treatment? A lot of people. Stecker's down. He probably needs treatment. Anuzis is getting treated. I, I hope is getting treated by Matt. Let me see. Matt. You weren't supposed to lay down there. Let's tend. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Ah, uh, Rodrigo has died. Oh, what were you missing? Uh, what? He has scratched it. The heck? Okay, well, whatever. Rest in, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Rodrigo. I guess that's one less person we're gonna have to deal with. Was that the... Okay, that was the other artist. Gotcha. Oh, boy. I mean, I tried. I did set somebody to do it, but it just seems like it wasn't enough. Alright, so we need a doctor over here for what's-his-face. So we have Jimbo, Barrow. Barrow's fine. Barrow is absolutely fine. Where is he? Bro, I need to take care of Stecker right now. I know that you think you're doing the right thing by resting, but it's just not going to work for you, buddy. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. Alright, so we need Baird treated as well. Let's go ahead and... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I meant treat Baird. Rest there. Uh-huh. Good. And you're going to treat Baird. Now, my bad, you guys. I'm just... Uh, I'm all over the place. Everybody's injured, basically, and I got to make sure I take care of this. Alright, I'm in bed. That's great. Jimbo, did you take care of this person or not? Because you're, I don't know, sometimes you tend to not do your job as you're meant to, so that's a little bit sketch, okay? It's just a little bit sketch. What is this doing here? Ooh, we almost have a chicky. Nice. I thought, ah, there's another one. Cool, cool. So we'll have chickies pretty soon, and Suffering became the target of a red fox. Not what we need right now, fox. Really not what we need. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and stick, um, I don't know. Where's, nobody's, where's Lux? Where's Lux? That's a good question. Why is she all the way over there? Well, let's see. The fox is... You know what? She can probably get there. So go there, and maybe you can take care of this. If you can't, I'll try to get, I don't know, Seko or Ortega out soon and see what happens. Oh, no. That's not going to work at all. Uh, wait a second. Why don't you hunt down these corpses? Because the corpses are basically readily available for you, buddy. And I'm going to shoot you anyway. What are you doing? Standing. Well, you know what? That does give me a chance. So let me go ahead and move Lux all the way over here and see what happens. It's just going to chill there. All right, what are you going after now? Consuming crayfish. That works, but since I know now that you're going to keep attacking us, I have to shoot you. Sorry, that's just the way it is, okay? That is just the way life is for you now. Yep. Um, let's hope that we can actually take this thing down now. Okay, run. <laughs> run away! Go there. Go there, and hopefully somebody can help you. Joel is useless, so never mind. Uh, shoot. Good, good. Uh-oh. Okay, it's like right on you. Can you not kick it? Look, the body and the heart are messed up. Now you messed up the ear. Okay. Keep shrekking it. You got this. Nice. See, I believed in you. I believed in you, Lux. I knew you could do it. Alright, there we go. So that's one problem taken care of. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so now let's just everybody on to the healing process, although we do still have quite a few people who are bleeding out. Do we need more beds? I'm going to say I think so, because I don't know where Gabella is. 
You're, uh, you're cued for resting where? You know what, let me just turn this into a medical bed since Sparrow is just out and about and we need to make sure that people get treated here. I like how Matt is just hauling the medication away. Also, what is this thing? EMP grenade launcher. Huh. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, well, despite all of these setbacks, hopefully we'll have now a nice, calm time so we can recuperate and not get attacked anytime soon. The full moon is once again approaching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I just chill out over here because you never know what's gonna happen with Beatrice. And I might get bored, but whatever. You know, I'm gonna lock myself in here just to make sure that at the very least I clean, okay? Because I've got to do something. Do I not clean? Is that not one of my jobs? <laughs> I'll never do cleaning. You know what? That sounds pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. I know, but I just, I hate cleaning, especially washing dishes. It's just one of those things that I never want to do. Also, maybe I should get myself out of that. You're happy. You were happy that I visited you. Say what? I mean, I guess that's fine and all. Maybe I should find myself a place to sit. Can I sit on the toilet? No, apparently not. Oh, fine. You know what? I'm going to just say I can stay anywhere within my house. That might be fine. Go and, uh, no, you're disallowed from butchering. You're stuck in your house. Where, where do you think you're going? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. You little punk. <clears throat> I know I'm talking to myself that way. It seems really weird, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Can you not? Get over here. Seriously, you are allowed out of your, out of this bathroom, okay? Just gotta watch Beatrice very carefully because we don't want a repeat of the Baird situation. That was not okay. It looks like, uh, repairing's going on. That's great. Did we rebuild our door here? We did not. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Let's replace that with a wooden door, because we know, we saw. That was bad. That was really, really bad. We had a slate door there, and poor Aziz could've died. And, uh, well, at least that was taken care of. Alright, so it seems like most people are healing up. That's what I want to see for sure. Let's check moods. Uh, not great. <laughs> but that's, that's pretty much expected. Beatrice, come on, buddy. Go ahead and turn so we can actually take care of this. I'm not gonna wait around all day just for you. Also, why am I not building this? Do I not have the skills? Yeah, what the I'm just sitting around doing absolutely nothing and I built a good bed. Oh my gosh, I am dumb. I am seriously dumb. I have so many things I could be doing here, but I'm just like, no, nah, you know what, I'd rather not. Let me just walk around and do nothing because that's the productive thing to do. That's a shoddy bed. Well, you know what, Skip? I know you want to take it apart, but right now, just work on the next one and see if we can maybe turn out some better beds because we need a lot of beds for a lot of people. And if we don't do it now, when are we going to do it, right? It seems like we never really get to it. What am I going to do? No, you're going to skip that. You're going to ignore the prisoner for now until the, I think, turning happens at like 2 in the morning, it seems. So, uh, yeah, I better get in there soon. Uh-oh. Why is it auto-saving? Okay, so all these beds came out very bad. Wait, the, it, it passed. It passed? Hmm. I I don't know what to make of this. This is a little bit sketchy, but sure. Keep feeding her. Make sure she's fine. Go ahead and build this bed then, because apparently I'm dumb. <laughs> I just can't get over it. I'm just ignoring the beds. Ugh. Whatever. On the bright side, though, we have one bed built and four horrible beds, but we can take these apart, get more materials, and keep trying, right? That's what it's all about, which is always a beautiful thing. Beatrice, come on, turn, buddy. I, am I going to have to keep watching you there? I guess I'm stuck in this house until whenever. That means I'm going to probably drink from... Pre Are you okay to drink from? Yeah, you're okay to drink from. Beautiful. All right, that's what I like to see. And I'm, I'm going to sleep? No, I don't think so. Go ahead and work on this. Keep working on... I think I'm just a lazy bum. That's what it is. I must just be a, some kind of lazy bum, because I'm just like, whatever, I don't really want to do this work right now. I know I can, but I don't want to do it. Oh, look at that. I built another good bed there. A superior one, nonetheless. But still, I'm just like, nah, I'm all set with that. Get to work. <laughs> Basically, that's just how I feel right now. Bandit camp opportunity. Hmm. Where might that But Oh, jeez. I forgot. I didn't load the world. Well, hopefully that's close like the other one. I believe the other one is close enough that we might be able to do it. Usually they seem to be very far away, though. So Why is that one so stacked? Like, you see that one's like a single thing like that? This one's super stacked. What? Um, weird. All right, whatever. And, oh, look at that. A third good bed. Maybe I work best when I'm tired. That does sound like me, actually. That really does sound like what happens with me, so I'm not... Holy scary! <laughs> uh, that was absolutely terrifying. I thought someone was shooting at me for a second. I was like, what? 
What did I do wrong this time? But it turns out that was just, it was nothing. Oh, I built a bad bed. Oh, it's too bad, but you get to not sleep yet. Okay, get back to work. All right, so, <laughs> I know, I'm very hard on myself. So what I want to do right now is, this is marble flagstone, right? That is, all right, beautiful. So I want to make sure that I build the same thing right across the way here because I do want to eventually, like, build it all the way around. So we can have nice flooring, you know, in our actual walking paths. Prisoner containment has been researched. Beautiful. And I did not load this either. My bad, you guys. But we got it now. We got it. So we can uh, maybe queue up some more stuff if we want to. Although I'm pretty sure I have a bit queued up already. Especially one type of research that we almost finished. Yeah. Um, I think we're good for now. At least for the rest of this episode. So, gonna keep it as is. And that should be just fine. Thank you guys for building the next mansion. I'm quite pleased with that. Alright, why did I ignore building this thing? Oh. Well, I can take this one apart. There we go. Problem solved. Take that one apart. Build this bed. Ta-da! We're good. Work on that now. Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Man, I am awful. Seriously. Alright, well, ignoring me, since apparently I hate life. Let's see what all is going on in here. Now, we did just get some really cool weapons from these uh, raiders that fell on our faces. So, let's... I thought somebody died. So let's take a look at what we have here and what we can give to people because I do enjoy the use of assault rifles more than I do enjoy the use of other- uh-oh. An ancient structure seems to have activated and is emitting a powerful psychic drone. It currently seems to only affect people of the male gender. There seems to be a message in the drone calling you to a specific location. Maybe that's where the source of the drone is located. The emitter might be active for a week or even months. Oh, there's also a risk the intensity of the drone might drive some animals in the area insane if they are exposed too long. So basically, this is like, hey, you gotta take this out right now or else. So I guess we will send out a group over there. Maybe the people who feel the best. Maybe I will send out some werewolves because why not? Do we have plenty of meals? Yeah, I'd say so. Alright, so that might be fair. That might just be fair. But I want to wait until Beatrice turns first before we do anything else. Speaking of, though, speaking of prisoners, let me go ahead and make sure that we maybe can, um... Chat and recruit you, because I don't want to work you. And we can work and recruit you, and work and recruit you. Alright. Hopefully that'll all work. Barrow, I am so sorry that you don't have anything, uh, <laughs> any kind of bed, but we'll get that for you soon. Now, what kind of shooting are- oh, you're not really the greatest. Gabella, you're better- oh, you kind of enjoy shooting, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you this. Since you would prefer that to other things. Um... You know, you're not really that great at shooting. I kind of want to give you the railgun, but at the same time, I know that's not going to go well. So, ooh, that's 43%. 24%. Is there any other kind of... Ooh, right here. Found it. I like to give people who can't really shoot that well and who don't like shooting, like, uh, spray guns, because that tends to work out pretty well. Like, without his ease. Even though he doesn't really shoot that well, he can shoot into a general area and hit somebody. So, to me, that works. Okay, that works. All right, Ortega, I definitely want you to grab an assault rifle for sure, because I figure that you're going to do well with that. Franklin, I'm going to give you the railgun, even though it's bad, but, you know, I can't have you with those grenades all the time, buddy. It's just not going to pan out for us. And is anybody missing a weapon? Because I do see that there. Somebody must be missing a gun. Nobody. So, after I am, uh, after I wake up, I guess I'll give it to myself as a sidearm. Because I figure I could always use one, right? I mean, you never know. You never know with these things. Let's unforbid this so that people can actually come inside. I see and be careful. Although you are a werewolf, so I trust you. And can we please stop writing the dogs in here and then shooting at them? Because that's not safe at all. Hey, look at that. I'm awake. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Uh, uh. Why am I carrying steel? Drop that. All right, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That's that does not seem right at all. All right, so um, hope. Oh, Gabella, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You don't have a bed, and you decided that that's gonna be yours. Did I give you a? Hmm. I did not. All right, so let's give you this. So Jimbo, Gabella, Baird, and that should be everybody for now. I mean, I can give it to the prisoners, but it doesn't really matter. So skip. And I'm gonna need my butt up in here. What am I trying to do right now? Playing chess. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I'm gonna have to be here because the full moon is still approaching. And it can happen at any time. So let's see, is Gabelle out? Gabelle is out. Beautiful. Alright, I know I can't build any more beds, maybe. Wait, I can't. I totally can. Never mind. Aha! Go ahead and build that one, then. Did somebody just come to fix the door? I don't even know. Whatever the case, though. Research is finished for hinges and gates. Beautiful. 
Thanks, Bellman. Thanks for all of your help. And are we still cooking? It looks like we might just be. Everybody is healed up. We have some people feeling okay. Franklin, how are you doing, buddy? Mm. Eh. That's basically how I feel about that. Well, we can send out the people with uh, super legit weaponry, although that will leave us unprotected, but I figure that that might be okay. So, let's form a caravan. We're going to send... Ooh, what's wrong with you? Are you carrying too much, or...? You got a bite scar from that. Seriously. Uh, ooh, we have a chick! We got some chick, you guys! Alright, so that's okay. We can mount these to maybe ride them a little faster. So I'm gonna send one, two, three... Uh, four people, I guess? And that should be fine. If the dog's gonna walk. So let's, uh, I'm gonna send Bowman. I'm going to send Franklin. I'm going to send, who else did I give a nice weapon to? Oh, uh, geez, I can't remember. Can I see what you have on you at all? Stats. Uh, why can't I see your, oh, you're actually quite bitten up. So I'm gonna say no. Barrow, I mean, I might, since you are a werewolf. So let's say two werewolves, three werewolves, maybe? They are pretty sturdy, so they could deal with a lot of stuff. Sure, let's send off all the, all the werewolves and Franklin, just because. So let's see, it's gonna be, um, Barrow, sure, I don't even care who rides what. Just as long as it makes them ride faster, that's all that, you know, that's all that really matters. Alright, so we're gonna send them off with a random crayfish and some meals. Let's say 50 meals. That's enough days for me. Let's make sure that uh, this is gonna be enough, though. Psh, that's close enough. We're good there. All right, so let's make sure that uh, everything is good. Southeast. Oh, whatever. They could take off however they want. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, good, good, good. All right, so they should be off pretty soon. Beatrice failed to transform. Reason outside home. Um. Pretty sure that happened to the visitors, and they eventually turned anyway. So I'm gonna say. Ooh, what? hold that away. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just stay here and watch her anyway because you never really know when something bad's gonna happen. You never know when she's gonna actually turn. Is this ready to go? Go and do it then. Go and do it. All right, so let's see. We're waiting here. What are we waiting for? Oh, there we go. We're waiting for one more person. Barrow, come on, buddy. Do you have a good gun here? Eh, yeah, not really, but it'll work nonetheless. All right, there we go. Our caravan is off to take care of things, which is uh, always great. What's wrong with Beatrice? I thought she was like, I don't know, hungry or something like that. Anyway, it looks like these guys are off. Please hurry up because we, I don't want that to keep going. Okay, I really do not want that to keep going. I like how they're resting. Well, they're on their way, and hopefully that will get taken care of soon, so that will be one less thing to worry about. It looks like our caravan is just about to arrive, and of course, of course that would happen. Heat wave, and we all get the plague. Isn't that beautiful? Just friggin' great. Alright, but they are there, it seems, so let's see what all happens once we are in here. Um... Whoa, hold on there, hold a second. Psychic pulse for the, on the hypexes. Can you get closer? Cause apparently you're too far away to shoot. And oh gosh, why did I shoot Heidi? No. Yo, you're, you guys are dumb. You guys are seriously dumb with these weapons. I don't even know. Uh, careful Heidi, careful Heidi, don't get wrecked. Okay, do not get wrecked. Oh my gosh, that's uh, pretty intense, but at least we can take care of, I think we can take care of this. We're all werewolves, right? There's one, good. Uh, we are fighting this one by hand. Oh, you're not a werewolf, actually, so move. <laughs> move, Franklin, move, buddy. Okay, he got bruised up, but he's fine. And there's more? Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, jeez, I did not see those coming at all. Franklin, be careful, buddy. You can't take these hits at all. Okay, there's... Okay, I think I need to move Franklin for sure, because this poor guy, it seems like they're almost always after him. All right, nice. So we have free food? <laughs> I don't know if I should consider it that. Let's see, anything else? Ooh, okay, that has potential, but this thing, we've got to get rid of it. Do I have any constructors here? I sincerely hope I do. Barrow, can you take this part? Yes, good, he can. He can. All right, so do that, please, my friend, and uh, hopefully that'll be great. Is he actually going? He's just standing right now. Thanks, buddy. All right, so that should be fair enough. Let's go ahead and unforbid everything there so we can actually take those things with us if we can. Although I have a feeling we should probably, um, I don't know, build something to chop up the meat, but hey, that's not always necessary now, is it? 
Also, the reason why I'm ignoring the plague is because there's nothing I can do right instead of, you know, all I can really do is force everybody to sleep, and that's just not one of those things I want to- what the heck? Advanced component. A psychic emanator. Ancient device that projects a soothing psychic field around itself. This improves the mood of anyone- <gasps> I want it. Oh my gosh, I want it. All right, so let's see. Do you need to get taken care of at all? You're just bruised overall, and you're just um. I'm gonna assume you're bruised as well because I can't really tell. <laughs> okay, so let's put a nice little spot around these guys here. Stockpile, zone it up. There we go. We can take whatever we can, and I'm forget that we don't even need that because I'm pretty sure that these things are gonna be heavy. Okay, so let's say we're gonna form reform a caravan. We're gonna take obviously everybody, and what can we take here? Cause this is amazing. Uh, we can still take a few more things. So let's take the advanced components. Beautiful. Can we take some of the plasteel? Cause the plasteel is very delicious. It looks like we can, but yeah, we can't take the corpses. So I'll just take as much uh, steel as we can. Estimated time to our destination over here is 0.7 days. That's beautiful. Accept, and let's all get ready to go. Let's get ready to rumble. Waiting. Enter. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright, we're coming back with something that'll make us happier, which is actually great compared to, you know, how things have been for us. It looks like the full moon has passed, or is currently here. Beatrice is not exactly, um, I don't know, transformed, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna let myself free. And I guess, you know, I can go ahead and do anything else. I can try to run in here if she turns. But we do have quite a way for her to go, if she decides that, you know, it's time for her, so... <laughs> I can be patient, you guys. I can be patient for sure. These guys should be maybe resting. It looks like they are. And, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait to put that down and just soothe everybody. Because, I mean, now that we're sick, yeah, things are going to be pretty bad. Joel, how are you feeling, buddy? Cargo buds! Hey, what do we have over here? We have... A bunny? Oh, this thing. I was like, what? Squid corpse. I will take that, I guess, if it's, if it's you know, reachable. Oh boy, alright, so what's wrong with you? Modern amount of pain, absurd rotting corpse. Did we not take care of all of our corpses? We did not. Okay. Oh, Teddy the Pimp. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that's one of those things that we won't chop up? Yeah. Okay, so we have quite a few of these rotting corpses here, which we need to maybe dig up or burn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a dumping stockpile for corpses only. Let's see. Over on this side here. Just because we probably don't ever want to see any of this stuff. So let's say we want absolutely nothing. Clear all. We want only corpses that are rotten. If we could do that. Can we do that? Allow rotten. Eh, we'll probably just throw them all over there, maybe, and see what happens later on. Hopefully we can actually start doing that now because it's not nice having it there. It's just bringing down the moods and, you know, it's, it's not one of those good things for us. Ah, oh, Beatrice, you are a ticking time bomb, though, and I am very scared. Seriously, I am, like, super scared. Because, you know, you never know when the bad stuff is going to happen. Ooh la la, we have a black market trader here above us. So let's go and bring Joel over here, even though he hates his life right now. You know, as long as we can maybe get something good, that'd be pretty cool. Also, we do have a visitor vampire here, which is a little bit scary. Poor guy might burn if we don't take care of him. All right, so Joel is in poor health, so prices are going to be kind of bad. That might be okay because I might not even buy anything. I just want to see what they're all what there is here. Hmm, cybernetic liver. That's really expensive, too, on top of that. <laughs> Artificial nose. I believe we do need one. We do have the money for it, so I'm going to go and grab it just because I figure that some of our people are missing noses. It's only fair. Incendiary launcher, I will sell it because I don't really like it. I'm also going to sell off anything that's in bad quality. It looks like most of this stuff is okay. Oh, the hat's not selling well. Well, we can't wear it much anymore, so I guess we might as well get rid of it. What is this? Golden bear armor? What is all this bear armor? Huh. That, I like it. I think it's kind of interesting. Although, it's clearly way too expensive for my blood right now, so we're going to just skip on over that and not look back. Let's get rid of all that stuff, and we are spending money instead of making money, which is not ideal, so we have got to find a way to make money soon, because we're basically broke. Yeah, we are <laughs> pretty much broke. All we have now is a nose here for somebody who was, I think they had like a, let me see, it wasn't you, who was it? 
Yeah, wow, well, you need a lot of help. Right leg, new, mental break. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of that right now because it's the heat and all the plague that's going around. It's, wait, is the plague gone? I think the plague is mostly gone. Okay, who the heck had an injured nose? I could have sworn there was somebody with an injured nose. Was it Franklin? Um. There we go. Old gunshot. Aha. So, yeah, Franklin's gonna get a brand new nose. And hey, look at that. Speaking of, they are here now with our brand new psychic emitter. So we can actually use this to make us feel a little happier. Let's see. Where did they come in from? From which direction have they arrived? Let me see who was there. You guys. Aha. Okay. So they are coming in from over here. Do you have it? Mm -mm. Who has it? Who has the emitter? Franklin. Franklin has it. Of course he does. All right. So I I guess, you know what? Just I'll wait. I'll wait until he gets close so we can actually drop it and set it up. Within our area, of course, because we need to make sure that it's all good. And no, no peace talks opportunity. I'm not going to do that because things tend to go pretty badly. Colonist needs rescue? Um. Oh, Joel. Joel, Joel, Joel. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. All right, so we took care of all of that. Let's go ahead and drop this thing here so we can actually use it. Good. Let's install it. Oh, geez. Um, I'm going to say install it here because this is basically where most people are. I'm going to scooch it up just a bit, though, so I can get some of the prisoners. Let's see. Like, right there. Who is our constructor? Can Barrow do it? Barrow, buddy. I need you to do this thing. Where is it? Deliver resource. Yeah, sure. You know what? Go ahead and do that. Apparently, it's called delivering resources. I didn't realize that, but sure. All right. That should be connected. It should be making everybody's lives much more beautiful and lovely and happy, hopefully. Although, then again, the heat and any... Oh, jeez. Huh. No, no, no. Madden, hurry. Arrest. You, hurry. Arrest. Or just get, get over here. <laughs> um, I think we're going to lose our chickens, you guys. Because, uh, yeah, bad things. Or maybe just our chicky. It's a male chick. You know, that's going to sound bad, but that's not really the worst thing that could happen. Let's see if we can shoot. Can you... Yeah, keep trying to arrest. I think it's going after our rooster. We might need to keep the chicky then. Unless I already killed the chicky. Where's the chicky? Chick. Okay, it's over there. Wow, it's actually blending in with the flowers and stuff. You need a fire. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Rest in peace, rooster. Because that thing is basically dead. Yeah. All right. Well, Franklin, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah, we're gonna have to let this one grow up and be our next rooster, because now we don't actually have one. Well, bright side, we have food, right? <sighs> no more fertilized eggs, though, so that's basically the last one there. Oh, oh, wait. Maybe not. No, we have two more. Beautiful. Hopefully we can get some more male chickies then, because you never know which one's gonna stay alive <laughs> and which one's not. Let's make sure we haul that urgently. Hey, can you take that, please? Gracias. And, well, rest in peace, rooster number one. You lived uh, a nice, hard life there. I, I tried, okay? There was just nobody else in the vicinity to save your butt. <sighs> oh, well, you know what, you guys? That's just the way it goes down on the rim. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoyed, show some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. That really helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, stay awesome, friends. I will see you next time.